Hello, how to solve x power 3 equals 125? Solving for the value of x that satisfies this equation. So, what we are going to do will be to express 125 as 5 power 3. We have x power 3 equals 5 to the power 3. So, from here, we move this over here. We have x power 3. Minus 5 power 3, this equals 0. Now, if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b power 2. So from here, we have a equals x and b equals 5. So let's replace it right here. We have x minus 5 times x squared plus x times 5 plus 5 squared equals 0. So right here, we have x minus 5 times x squared plus this is 5x plus 5 squared, that is 25, equals 0. So right here, we equate each of these to 0. f x minus 5 equals 0. f x squared plus 5x plus 25 equals 0. Let's solve these individual equations. If x minus 5 is 0, we have x equals 5. That's my x1. For this, we make use of the formula method. We have x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. So right now, we have a equals 1, which is the correction of x squared. b equals 5, which is the correction of x. And c equals 25, which is the constant here. So from here, we have x equal this is negative 5 plus or minus square root of this is 5 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 25 divided by 2 times 1. So from here we have x equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared. This is 25 minus 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 25. This is 100 divided by 2. So from here, fx equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of this will be negative 75 divided by 2. So from here, fx equals negative 5 plus or minus square root of this is negative 1 times 75 here, divided by 2. So from here, we have x equals negative 5, plus this is negative 1 times square root of 75, divided by 2. So from here, we add equals negative 5 plus square root of negative 1 here is i times square root of 75. This is 25 times 3 divided by 2. So from here, fx equals negative 5 plus i times 
square root of 25 times square root of 3 divided by 2. So from here, we have x equals negative 5 plus i times square root of 25, that is 5, times root 3 divided by 2. So we can factor out 5 over 2 from here. fx equals 5 over 2 times negative 4 plus base minus here. Remember is plus or minus, or this a plus or minus. So we have 5 over 2, negative 4 plus or minus i times root 3. So from here we have two complex values for x. We have x2 because you have already gotten x1 already. This is 5 over 2 of negative 1 plus i root 3. Then we have x3. Plus 5 over 2 of negative 1 minus i root 3. So these are the two complex values for x, and we also have one real value for x, which is 5. So if you want to check, I'll verify. We have x equals 5. That means x power 3 equals 125, we substitute this for x, we have 5 power 3 equals 125, and this simply means 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125, 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 5 this is 1 to 5, equals 1 to 5. The both sides are now the same guys, so that is it. Thank you and goodbye.